Hey, what's up, guys? Warlocks will back here, and today we're still in that Q block grind. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I don't don't really know what else to say for this intro, but uh, yeah, let's just jump right into the first game. How about that? All right, guys, I'll see y'all there. How a dingo? Uh, this is again most like it's an aggro deck. It's the aggro deck. I just like to Malfer removal. Void Caller and one big demon. There's a big demon. And a Void Caller. Ooh, and we got the Mistress too. Mistress is really, really good against this matchup too. I'd really like to see um, Defile, uh, Soul Shears. It's like, I take this deck for a deck like this. This, even Shaman. It's not aggro. It's Librum ish. I, I don't really know what to call this deck. Um, it's weird. This deck would be really good if we hit the Void Color. Void Color would mean we probably win. I could Dark Skies here theoretically. Yeah, I'm just gonna Dark Skies here. Uh, I have more than six cards in hand. I just can't afford to take more damage from that. Uh, hopefully I hit Void Caller here, so this way I can have Demons for it to summon. Or since I had a Demons for it to summon. I was also kind of hoping he played a coin out like a True Silver Champion or something. Expired Merchant's not the worst. Um, it's actually possible that you just play Expired Merchant as well. Um, depending what's left in your hand, of course. Uh, not necessarily discarding a Gul'dan in this matchup. Since they are pretty aggressive, so... Oh, that's so wrong on his part. Um, I'm gonna... I need to play this a little bit greedy. This trade was gonna gain me four. Theoretically, all the damage that this would deal to me anyways. So, pretty good. Hopefully he actually doesn't trade here. I mean, it doesn't actually matter. Um, hopefully I pull one of the big guys, or one of the death rattle guys. Good. This is the best possible board I can create here. Oh, Q popping off, boys. <laughs> like, that, that, that combo is just insane. Like, actually insane. I think now is possibly when he concedes. Hopefully, actually here, I think I want Melganis more than I want anything else. Well, more than I want the Void Lord pulled. Melganis just is so powerful. Because it allows me to tap as well for free. Thank god. I'm just lucky. That's only two to my guys. This is so much to him. Like... I don't think he can- there's no way he can equal- uh, he has the coin, fuck. He could theoretically a quality consecrate. That's fine. That's- that's absolutely fine. Very useful. Okay, well I don't actually have to play that, so that's nice. Uh, let's just- <laughs> I would've wished to draw one piece of removal, but then he was dead, but- was it like Soul Shear would have done it, Defile would have done it, uh, Unstable Fellbolt would have done it, Faceless Manipulator would have also done it. Uh, no, it wouldn't. That'd be a little bit off. Hey, it's another Holy Wrath combo player. <laughs> oh, and he hit the Shavala too. Uh, he can't play that, right? No, that's only seven or seven plus eight plus seven, 14, 29 mana. Get fucking stopped. <laughs> uh, yo, we. Cube Lock is actually popping off. Anyways, uh, let's just queue up the next one, right, guys? I'll see y'all there. Ah, it's this one. As we learned yesterday, this matchup is actually winnable. It only took seven gold ons, but. Matchup actually winnable. Huh. Hopefully, I mean. There's the gold on. Now we just need to draw the demons. 
A start like the one we had last game is possibly strong enough to actually beat them. Uh, you just can't commit that many super big guys to the board. Because that's when you get cucked by uh, Anduin. So it's actually really important not to play into Anduin too hard. But this card, on turn 1, should be bro like banned. Honestly banned. It should You should not be able to play this card on, two, on turn 1. It's so good. 1 mana draw card is just not fair. It's legitimately 1 mana to hero power. And summon a 2-1. It's so broken. Actually fucking Monka W broken. Alright, so it looks like we have Gul'dan on curve, possibly. Depending on what else we draw, like we have to draw Faceless, of course. So I, I like to get max amount of value out of my expired merchants, and I think that's with Faceless. Since you can't do, like, cube, Faceless, Plague, do that not being possible. Hopefully he doesn't hit expired merchant. I mean, best case scenario for me is like cube, sense, demons, and mistress, and I think that's what he hit. There's no way it took him that long to pick what to play to, like pick. Oh, that was so unlucky. Low rolled, not hitting void caller. I need to draw void caller now for turn. Not drawing void caller here is super. What? That was the worst hit that he could have got out of my hand. I'm so sad. What happens if he would have pulled, like, Enhanced Dreadlord? I don't actually understand. If he would have pulled Enhanced Dreadlord, he lost the game. If he would have pulled Malganus, he possibly lost the game. Like, uh, I don't understand that thought process of just slamming Dirty Rat after your Q-Block opponent played Sense Demons. It does not make sense to me. It also looks to me like he has Curve of Raza. With this curve, I'm pretty sure he has Raza. Like, kind of whatever. Raza on 5. Can I beat Raza on 5 with this hand? Possibly. Maybe not. Like, losing this was so fucking bad. That's good if he plays, um in his deck it's also good later on to hit uh, Ashbringer from the Tyrion he gets all Zephyrus so yeah how does now I only have four Gul'dans how is four Gul'dans ever gonna be enough <laughs> oh Gul'dan is such a Monka W card fucking love it there's very few cards in this game that I actually fucking love but Gul'dan is one of them my favorite deck in Magic was always a, like, a reanimate deck. That's actually really good. Uh, yeah, that's really good, is I don't get the value out of this right away. There's a Mistress. Um, I could do the really greedy play of that into that. Well, that's like so fucking greedy. I think I play it slow. I gained so much health here. Wait, the only one of them true? Oh, mine was silent. It's true. I had a blank that that happened for a second there. I should have tapped first. If I would have tapped first, I would have rather play this, even though it costs less. Um, just because later on this one's worse is I'll have something on the board. Probably oh, place so bad for me. There's that. I need to play something here. The weakest me in my hand, and I don't want to waste removal on these two guys. He's just going to trade them in anyways. Um, there's no point of me, like, unstable fell bolting here. Like, actually zero reason. He's going to trade these in anyways. I mean, yes, I could have kept a 3-2. Or, yeah, 3-2. But, now he has to choose between drawing a card and leaving me alive with this. Unless he has penance. I don't think he penances here anyways. Like, I just feel like that's a throw. Not really. I mean... He could still theoretically go Anduin next turn, so dropping this is a little risky, but 
if he doesn't, the possibility of drawing Plague is like so tempting. Plague could be such a broken card here. Yeah, that's good. I like it when they leave something up at one health. Is Raza Potions one? I don't think it's ever correct picking a one mana Raza Potion. Okay, hopefully it's not Polymorph. And if it is Polymorph, I have a 50-50 at it hitting this. Which would be really, really good for me. We're now about to Void Color die, and that's it demon-wise. Okay. Um... I think he's digging for either Shadow or Death, or... I also no longer have to worry about Silence. He drew his Master Spell before he played Shadow Visions. So that means he should not have any more Silence, only a possibility of Polymorph off the Raza Potion. And if he hovered it, my guess is that it's a 1 mana Raza Potion. So, let's not miss 5 damage here. That guarantees one dead one in the pool. I hold on to this. I mean... Unless he has another silence. His Raza Potion, if it is Polymorph, has low odds of hitting this. I mean, it's a 33% chance. Um... Also, this way it gets around Anduin if he drops Anduin here. I think it's it was it was a pretty good play I think, and if I draw plague I can always faceless plague, and then I'm stupid ahead as well. And right now if he doesn't deal with the board he's at ten, less than that. So I drop Malganis so he's at uh, eight. There's a top deck Raza. I gotta do this hit which is what's really nice. That's a one, two, three. So one, two, three. That works out perfectly. Then I can do this. That tosses that. That gets played there. The file gets played, filling up my hand, and then I drop this as an extra little bonus. Now if he Anduins, sure he Anduins, but I drop this summoning four Enhanced Dreadlords, or three Enhanced Dreadlords and a Void Collar, or else this is just going to be 14 damage punching him in the face. I might still have uh, Malganis still, which is really, really nice. Why couldn't he have also pulled the regular fucking Expired Merchant? He would have pulled the regular Expired, uh, yeah, he has Anduin. Is that a 10 mana Kazaka's Potion? That would be really funny if that's what he picked. 10 mana Kazaka's Potion is almost never correct. The reason it's almost never correct is because you want it to combo with your hero power um, when you're the other guy. Okay, now I can play Malganus hit hit, which is super value. A little noxious, but something we can deal with. Giannis. I'm E-Turtle. Do this first. Yep, thank you. I should have actually waited before I traded in the other one as well. This is actually also kind of a bait. If he drops Anduin here, he wipes my board, I drop Gul'dan, and I have another big-ass board that's going to be hard for him to deal with. Except for if he has Mass Hysteria. And even then, Mass Hysteria doesn't necessarily clear it, because all my demons have more health than they have attack, except for Malganus and the... Dreadlords that it summons. That's fine. That kills one guy. Sadly killed Malganus, but that's fine. Death. That's also fine. I can just drop a uh, Blood Reaver Gul'dan here as well. That's actually hyper annoying. Don't hate this play. I don't want to let that happen because it could get another... Um, Anduin, possibly if he didn't already draw Anduin. And this way, it adds another good guy to my death pool. I could have done it with Cube, but I think doing it with Cube is worse. He's drawing Anduin next turn, so I don't want to play Gul'dan yet. I want to play this. I think it's hit. Uh, I think it's actually hit him in the face. Uh. Uh, 
this is this is more value. It means his Anduin is dealing one damage to minions on my board, and I still get to respond with a Blood Reaver Gul'dan. Which is really, really nice. It's actually strange though that he's playing uh, Alex Strauss in the deck. That card's not typically in the deck because uh, Polkel will put it second from the top then, so it makes it slightly easier to burn with cards like Nosferatu or whatever. So it's actually strange how he has his deck built with the Alex. I can see though the reason why someone would add Alex. The card is very powerful on its own. And yeah, hopefully I hit Malganus. So this is bigger and he has to deal with my board. I hit Malganus, beautiful. Oh, that's such a gorgeous board. Uh, he's played the Mass Hysteria, he's played the Anduin. Psychic Scream is a good answer. But what about... Oh, he could have... No, that was on the left side of his hand. Yeah, that was on the left side of his hand, so this is also not a board up, I don't think. Yeah, you see, he hovered over it again, so I'm pretty sure it's a one-cost potion, which means there is no polymorph in it. It's only starting at five when there's a polymorph. Uh, depending what I draw, him actually shuffling all those cards in is really good for me. Because now he's closer to fatigue than I am. Yeah. Again, it might be really hard for him to deal with this board. I'm so sad I whiffed again. Oh, this is actually super bad, too. Because there is another board wipe he could be playing. I don't know if he'd have room in his deck for it. But he could theoretically be playing... Um, he top deck it for turn. That'd be kind of tilting. He has Reno in hand, we know that. Yeah, he did top deck it for turn. I still have three dudes. And I gotta drop this and this... Eh. I gotta pop off next turn also, so that's pretty nice. You're gonna finally play your Kazakus Potion? Make your only way out of this game Reno, multiple Renos. But you have to wait till your deck has like three cards left. Ugh, sorry, I'm really fucking tired. By the way, to help with your tiredness, I hope everybody has a drink. You know, I always say it, I hope y'all have a fucking drink. Um, it just makes everything better, you know what I'm saying? Uh, do the sense demons, that's really nice. Oh, I'll take it. Like, uh, how does Priest beat this many Gul'dans? He dealt with one and a half. The reason it's half is because this is still a thing. Uh, that, that sense demons there is actually really clutch. Um, drawing more demons is always nice. And I still have three more cards in my deck than he does. Which is really good for me. Oh no, he finally broke through my armor. Oh no. He has to deal with my 15 damage on board. You can't kill this because there's a 66% chance it summons another 3 3 or 5 5. The 5 5. I think. Okay, that's one way to kill that thing. In the face. Nice, nice, nice. He He's so low right now that he can't play his other guy. Which is the funny part. Uh, It's actually so sheer bite that. Uh, he should hit this, I think. Just to see what is in my hand. I don't want to actually kind of commit these to the board. Actually, no, what am I saying? He has, like, no more removal. He can't hit that because Malganus then could theoretically be lethal. But this is still the trade. His only out right now is Zephyrus, and theoretically that's in the bottom of his deck. And if he does Zephyrus, I respond with Gul'dan number 3. Gul'dan is actually fucking broken. Like, super fucking broken. Zephyrus? Do you top deck the Zephyrus return? Yep. Just twist another. And then my response to that... Well, that summons also like a 5-5, five five, right? Or a 5-7. Hopefully, not the three nine. That silence. Can he get twisting? He gets shadow word or shadow flame. 
I still have a 5-5. Five, 5-5 five. Five, five, man, I could still bite, but I think I just dropped Gold on. Uh, punch him in the face and biting that actually leaves me at full health. And I can do... I can keep this, theoretically. I think what else he does here. Renew. Hopefully doesn't hit another 1 mana spell. That can no longer hit Renew, which is also really, really good for me. Because that's another way he can win back from this point, is just infinite renews. Problem is that he's too low still to play... Yeah. That's really good for me. Give him more cards. I mean, it's not good for me in the moment, but... Overall, it's pretty damn good for me. What did he... Oh, that thing gained him our... Shadows. Give me my guy, my guess. Nope. It <laughs> Give me the same board I got before, just probably separated this time. Uh, this is a good fucking meme. I don't think he can kill. Right? He's dead on board. Oh, am I dead? I'm probably gonna get him two mana card to death? No, it's gonna get him heal. Twelve? If that's heal, it's twelve. He needs to have a zero mana card. If I'm dead here, I'll be a little mad. He's not at zero mana cards yet in his deck. If he hero powers twice though, he also dies, so he needs to have healing and he played his one renew. There's just no one mana heal it would offer him if I'm not mistaken. I don't think there's a one mana heal in standard. As far as I know. He gained 10. Okay. So he's dead. Beautiful. Oh fuck, that was still super close, because this dealt so much damage, but... Good fuck, nerd. Good absolutely fucked. That was actually an insane game, I think we played that game like near perfectly. Oh, fuck, that was- I forgot to update the win rate again, I'm so sorry. I feel- I hate forgetting to update the win rate. Now I do it now, and then it's loud in the mic, and uh... Anyways, um, we have time for one more, so let's queue up one more and see how things go. Alright guys, I'll see y'all there. Ooh, a mage. It's been a while since we've actually hit a mage. Okay, so far this is looking not too bad. Uh, where's the void caller? There's the void caller. No demons? Are you- Am I a joke to you, game? Can you give me, like, Ants Dreadlord, please? One time? <laughs> Um, by the way, I, I also have to apologize for something else. Um, I said I was in a stream on Friday. Uh, apparently my family's planning on throwing a little bit, a little party. So I won't be able to stream on my birthday. So I'll be streaming on Saturday instead. Well, Saturday night, Sunday morning, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, so yeah, I will sadly not be able to stream on the actual day of my birthday. But I will be streaming the next day. So... I hope y'all will check it out, come and hang out, you know? Celebrate my birthday and all. Um, the double sense demon draw is actually kind of insane. Now I can tap Mistress theoretically next turn, or I can just sense demons again. The problem with sense demons again is I have high odds of hitting the other void caller, which is good, but it's also kind of bad. Um, yeah. My guess is it's counter spell. So it's a good thing I didn't go for the sense demons. It is what I'm going to be using to trigger the counter spell. Uh, I'm just honestly hoping that he plays another secret here. That's explosive rune. So I play this. I summon this. Then I'm very happy. You know it's awkward? This is 6 health. This is 6 damage. But I won't be able to kill it. Pretty awkward. It's so good for me that he's using removal on that. I actually so fucking bless.
Okay, I'm fine with giving him more secrets. I'd rather give him that than more of these. Honestly. The reason I'd rather give him that is that his win con against me is drawing more cards than me to be able to burn me out faster than I can heal it. So, the fact that I'm going to have to do this trade here, get out of 5-7 and then faceless it, is really dumb. I can actually just cube it right away. That deck should not have polymorph for counter spells. If I can do this right away. I have a 5-5 lifesteal. I can faceless this and beat things with it till it dies. Or depending what he plays, I can even just like defile to kill both of them and then pop off, you know? So. That deck should not have polymorphs. If it does, I mean, I fucked up, but I doubt it. His best bet here, I think, is actually just dropping Aluneth. And if he drops Aluneth, I do have the one answer in my deck to it, so I'm chilling. Those are both, uh, these two are secrets. The second two fives are secrets. It's important to remember that. Okay, that's, that's good for me again. My minions take me nine health so far. You think that's another, that, I think that's actually explosive runes, so I want to kind of faceless this here. This is actually super good. Now they're both almost near dead, which means it's going to be super awkward for him to play minions for the rest of the game. And my plan is next to just to defile. See, there's the Alanath. So I hit that with a Gluttonous Ooze. I think I hit hit defile Gluttonous Ooze. Yeah. That was 100% the play. Have lethal on board. Have him have to draw a fireball to answer my board. Chillin. Chillin like a villain. Uh, if I draw a demon next turn, any of the demons in my deck, it's super Papa Bless. Because that means Sense of Demons guarantees me Melganis. It's funny, the aggro deck has 10 cards in hand. The control deck in this matchup has fucking 3. Fucking griefing him. To be fair, this was also a kind of shit minion to get. I could pop that, and he'd burn two cards. If I would've popped that, he would've burned two cards. Been good. But I think this is better. That has to be Counterspell. It's not- or not Counterspell, Ice Block. That's what I thought. I doubt he's getting through the wall of taunt, so I'm fine doing this. I just have to hope he doesn't have fireball, fireball. If he has fireball, fireball, there's nothing I could have done. He's not getting through the wall of taunts, and I ch made it so his second cloud prince, if he's holding that instead, can't actually kill me. He's played the roaring torch, so he has to have exactly fireball, fireball to kill me here. The only two cards in his deck that would do it, and that deck possibly only plays one fireball, especially if he's running the forgotten torch. It's actually possible he plays none. Because with Cloud Prince, Forgotten Torches, and Roaring Torches, and most likely Frost Bolts, there's not normally enough room to put another... Yeah, he can't play... Am I dead? He has... No, okay, I have an... I'm fine because I have another... I have two other 5-7 taunts. So even if there's a nice secret, yeah. That cube, biggest brain play. Like, 100, like 100 IQ. He most likely had Frostbolt in hand, and he had 9 damage on board. So that would have been exactly 12. That cube saved my life. I didn't even see that in the moment of playing it. But that was like super big brain play. Anyways, I know I'm cutting the games short, but uh, I'm buying this. So I'm going to buy this real quick, and then I'll cut back to opening packs. Alright guys, I'll see y'all there. Alright, so this is the new portrait that you get, the Jaina one. And I'm also going to buy one of these. Because why not? I had the gold for it. Let's open these packs. Let's see what's in them. I've actually... Are these the first mage pack? I don't know if those are the first mage packs I've opened. It might be... Ooh, a secret? Or an epic? 
Double rare. Gold and rare. That's pretty nice. Potion of Illusions. That's another good one. I already have two of those, but I think I actually have a golden one and one. Oh, uh, these just stand. I think I have. Ooh, that's pretty nice. I think that's actually my second golden font of power, which is really dope. I like my golden cards, as you all know. I try to put as many of them as possible in my decks. I think I might have all the mage legendaries that are in... Uh, no, I don't... Do I have all the mage le I might have all the mage legendaries in standard. So I have very low odds of actually getting legendary. It wasn't even possible in these packs. I actually don't know what's in these packs. I could just be lying out of my face. Yo, but we fucking popped off today. Uh, alright. So I also gonna update this. Yo, we're almost at 40 wins. That, the win rate is actually super nice. That's a 12 game up. No, these posts, these packs are sad. I've opened so many fucking Cloud Princes. What the fuck? Anyways, with the packs open, with the games out of the way, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Rep the gang. And I'll see you guys in the next one where hopefully we continue getting these dubs and we hit rank 2 diamond. All right, guys? I'll see y'all there. Peace.